Hey, it's James from the Drone Smart Academy and welcome back. So today we're looking at using masks in Premiere Pro for transitions between shots in an FPV fly through. First, I would like to look at when and why you might use this technique. So generally with FPV fly throughs, you want to create a seamless one shot fly through. And there are many different factors which can make this challenging or sometimes impossible. Some of those factors could be signal strength of the video feed or control signal or areas that you don't want to fly through such as storage rooms or corridors or you could have a fly through where you've hired several different actors which you may need to reuse in several areas of the fly through and these challenges may require you to shoot a fly through in sections. Now it's likely we will still want the appearance of a single take or continuous fly through and using masks is a great way to help achieve this. It's important when doing this that during the shoot you've planned for these transitions to happen so that you have the cut points already set up in the footage and this will make your life a lot easier and that could be using things like pillars, walls, doors or even people to wipe the frame so that we can master the next shot seamlessly. Anyway, let's jump into Premiere Pro and get into it. Right, so we jumped into Premiere Pro now. So we're gonna go and have a look at some clips we've already got loaded up in here from a recent fly-through I did of a hotel. Obviously with internal FPV fly-throughs, the ideal is to always do a complete one-take fly-through, but as you can appreciate, and as you probably have experienced, that isn't always possible for a number of different reasons, such as you could have actors in the shots, you know, you might lose signal throughout the building. So you might have to employ one of these masking techniques to try and piece your fly through together. So in this instance, we were using actors in this hotel and we didn't have enough to fill out the hotel. So we had to shoot the fly through in sections. So we've got this clip here where we're flying through the hotel reception. Uh, and then we've got this next bit here which is flying into their garden area now the client didn't want us to fly through this hallway down the stairs and then through a long hallway uh, to get to this garden so we had to be quite clever and had to plan that we were going to use a mask here to help transition between these two different shots so we've got this shot here so i'll just play this clip actually so we've got this shot here again flying through the lobby we've got a couple of people checking in and we've got this next bit and then we're transitioning into the garden here with a clever little mask so i've got the two clips here set up ready to go so what you want to do is decide where you want the first clip to end and where you want the second one to start so i've already done that so you'll just have to kind of match them quite well uh, and it's really up to you how you make them um, match each other. So first of all, what we wanna do is get to the point on this second clip where we want it to start. Um, and this could be a complete frame wipe or you could be transitioning through a door, something like that. And you'll see here, I'm actually using this kind of, I say door frame, it's not really a door frame, it's just a frame um, into the next area of this reception. So we're using this door frame as our kind of mask point to wipe the screen. So you wanna select your top clip and we'll zoom in a little bit here. And then you wanna to go to the infects control panel and click on your little pen tool. That will then create our mask for us. Now on this first frame, you wanna to get to a point where you can just about see where you want that second mask to come in. So I've selected the top of this frame here and you see there's a point here where that uh, frame goes right to the floor and up here there's a little piece of shadow which you can see lines up quite nicely to the corner of this uh, this frame here. So we just wanna go back to the point where we want this mask transition to start. Now for the first one, you wanna make sure that it is just out of the frame here, otherwise it's gonna bleed onto the rest of your shot. So then what we wanna do is click inverted to get uh, the top layer back. What we wanna do is click on the stopwatch and then we'll start going in frame by frame and adjusting that mask sticks to that door frame. And then as we go through the shot, we'll need to move each of those points on every frame to make sure it's lining up with that door. So we'll zoom in a little bit and then what we're gonna do is go along frame by frame and adjust each of these points so that it matches on every shot. So you do need to be quite careful with this because if it's not done quite precisely, you'll see the actual mask jumping around a bit, which is not what you wanna see. You can always go through it and then adjust it after the fact as well. So this is really the point where we want this to start. So if I just jog this along by a frame, we'll kind of see the corner of that door start to appear there. So we'll just move this top one up to the point there at the top of that door and at the bottom where that frame meets the floor. And then you'll see we've got these two lines here and these two additional points. So really you wanna guess where the top of that frame is gonna go and very much the same with the floor. 
as well. So you want to kind of line it up with where you think it would go if there was, let's say, a line on the floor there. You'll see that the mask is now starting to come in. So we'll just go back a frame. That's looking good. Then we'll need to go along frame by frame and move each point in here uh, to match where we've started. So I'll probably speed this bit up because uh, you don't want to sit here for the next half an hour while I do this. So we'll just go along frame by frame, moving those points. And again, you need to be quite accurate with this and then kind of adjust where we think the floor line would be there. And again, there and there. So I'm just going to do this quite roughly, just so we can kind of get through it, but you get the general idea. So you get the general idea. So you need to go through frame by frame and move each of these points along so we make sure that they don't move around too much and that it can just transition smoothly uh, to the next part of the shot. Now if I just scrub through this, we kind of see how the mask moves around all the way through the shot. And you will need, um, and this is really important, you will need something to essentially completely wipe the frame, like a pillar or a door or something like that. You'll see at the beginning of the video, there was a few different examples of how I've used this technique. One other thing to point out is, although you've got something like this, which is quite a simple thing to mask, where it's just a you know, combination of very straight lines, you might have some more complex things that you might need to mask out. And something quite handy for that, when you put your mask together, you'll then see that you've got this kind of feather. And this can just make it a bit smoother if you've got slightly more complex masks. For instance, so I'll show you how that looks. Let's just go quite extreme with it. It just really feathers those two together and just might make it look slightly better if it's a more complex. But this is not, this is very much just straight line. So I haven't really used much feather here at all. Maybe just a smidge, just to give it a bit of a blend. But uh, you'll see here, that's actually worked quite nicely. So once you've finished putting that mask in, that's really all there is to it. You might just need to adjust some of these points to just make sure that it's not jumping around too much. And like I said, you need to be quite accurate with the mask and I've, I've done quite a good job with this one. This is a really great technique for giving that one take feel where it's just not possible, where you might have had signal strength issues, or like I said, you can have people within the shots, so you need to move them around. But this is something you very much need to plan out before you go on shoot. You will need to have these areas in mind, which you know are gonna wipe the frame, or using doors, for instance, as your transition point. So don't just go into it thinking you'll be able to find your transition points. You need to map those out and have those ready. So when you get into the editor, it's super easy. You know exactly where those shots are gonna transition. So hopefully you can see there's a few different ways that you can use these masks to transition between shots in your FPV fly-throughs. And you can make real use of blending shots together that previously you might not have been able to do. So it just expands your creativity with fly-throughs, but planning is absolutely absolutely key to make these shots work. Hopefully you found this video useful, so please click the like and subscribe buttons for more useful content and how we can make you a better drone pilot. I'll catch you in the next video, take care.